he continues to be a hero to a lot of people in Europe. He becomes like a symbol of free speech. There's certain places in like Eastern Europe that was under like the Soviet Union control that mm -hmm. he really is like um like a beacon of freedom for them. It was a uh, uh, was it Prague or it was Czechos yes, Czechoslovakia. He gets into cahoots with the president and he's just like, look, if you need anything done in America, you come see me. The president made him an official representative yes. of the government of Czechoslovakia. There's statues of him over there to this day. So amazing. Dan Quayle was the vice president. He's over there and the president of Czechoslovakia says, oh yeah, Dan Quayle's coming over and Frank's kind of like, that sucks. They already didn't like Frank Zappa. Yeah. And then they heard that Zappa was talking shit about him. This is the most insane part of his story. Dan Quayle says to the president of Czechoslovakia, hey, you could do business with the United States government. Yeah. Or you could do business with Frank Zappa. That's just insane. <laughs>